I'm making my beef stew stuffed into fluffy pita. It's rich and hearty, and it's all in a velvety red wine broth. Plus, it's actually pretty easy. It all comes together in one pot. So to get started, I've got two and a half pounds of chuck roast that I've chopped into one inch cubes, and I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper. And now I'm gonna dust it with some flour. And this flour is gonna help me develop that great brown crust on the outside of the meat, and that browning equals flavor. Okay, I'll get this cooking. I've got my pot heating here over medium high heat. I'll drizzle in a little oil, and I definitely do not wanna crowd the pot, so I'll brown this in batches for a few minutes per side. And that sizzle is a sign that my pot is hot enough. So if I crowd the pot, the temperature will drop, and the meat will kind of steam, and it won't develop that brown crust. So it's really important to just give the meat space so that it can do its thing and get that flavor. That's some good color. Last batch of beef coming out. Next, it's time to cook the veggies. I'll add a little bit more oil to my pot and then toss in my onions and my carrots. I'll season with some salt and pepper. And then just let these cook in the beef fat and start to soften. Oh, that smells really nice. I'll squeeze in some tomato paste. And I'll stir it around and let it get a little toasty. I'll sprinkle in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And this is gonna create a roux and it's gonna thicken the stew really nicely. Okay, I wanna let this flour toast so that that floury flavor can dissipate. I'm just using flour for the texture, not for the flavor. Next, I'll pour in two cups of red wine, signature beef bourguignon, and it just makes it richer and cozier and gives it so much depth of flavor. And as it starts to seep down, I'm gonna use that moisture to scrape up all the crispy bits that are stuck at the bottom of the pot because those are super duper flavorful. I'll add a couple of bay leaves to infuse the stew with herbiness and a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme. Mm, thyme is so woodsy and hearty. And I'll bring it together with three cups of beef stock. I'll get my beef back into the stew now and Simmering the beef in the stew is gonna just make it so tender. It'll melt right down. It's gonna make it really flavorful too. I'll cover this up and let it simmer for two hours until the meat just falls apart. Oh yeah. That is some thick, bubbly stew. To finish it off, I'll toss in a few brown pearl onions. I'll stir these in and then whip up some chubby pitas. I mean, who needs voles when you have freshly made fluffy pita? This is my go-to recipe. You could use store-bought pita, but I like homemade so much more because it's extra fluffy. So to assemble, I'll chop off the top to expose its pocket. Hello. And then to reinforce the bottom, I'm actually gonna stick this hat right in there. And now I'll spoon in my stew. So I don't want it to be too saucy. So I'm just getting these nice big chunks. This is really nice and thick and stew-like. Okay. Oh, it's so warm. Cozy. I'll finish with a little parsley. And now I'm getting excited. Here I go. Mmm. That is so flavorful and so comforting. It's like one big Hanukkah hug. 